Oh yeah! Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da. Oh, I can also get an item over here. Oh no, you need a whirlpool. All right. Oh yeah, hacks. What did you miss? Everything. You missed everything. Because I don't want to call him Gavin. What the fuck is that? Snooky Saurus. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why Aron can't be modded. Kimbo, that's my special guest. Kimbo! Oh, so here he is, right here, the bastard. Let's see what moves he's got. He's actually got a pretty nice move set. Tackle, growl, water gun confusion. It's pretty good. Now, I could give him the um, twisted spoon, which I'm actually going to do. And I'm going to give the quick claw to... We're going to give the quick claw to Karibo. Yes, he's already holding twisted spoon. Switch items, yes! Twisted Spoon, give to... Snooky! Alright. And now we need to teach him Surf real quick. So he's gonna be my actual Surfer. Oh, were you even considering Debra? Um... No, not at all. Zero percent, to be honest with you. Oh, <laughs> uh, Slobuscus. Oh, damn it! That is a good one. Slobuscus. What did I just delete? Tackle. Oh, okay, that's not bad. God, me and my fucking button mashing. Why no Durfina? I don't know, that doesn't sound that cool. Help, it's raping me. I'm not gonna change it to Pink Panther. If I change it to anything, it's gonna be, uh, Slow Buscus. That was fucking hilarious. Run! Slow Tato Chip. Name your next Pokemon Yoshi. Okay. I can actually catch my next Pokemon right now. Slohemian Frapsity. Yeah, that's a good one, but it wouldn't fit, unfortunately. Help, it's raping me and I can't get up. I am nowhere close to beating it. You're right, and I love it. What about Scott? Scotty! Okay, let's deposit. Um, bitch tits here. Ken has HM. Burp, burp, burp. Fuck you! I love you too, man. I love you too, bro! Alright, so give me give me another topic. Give me another topic. I'll tell you guys a story. Give me a topic. Oh, also, 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 also. Nope, I lied. You know what? I lied. We're not going to be giving anything to him. I lied because if you talk to this guy, you get the Mystic Water. And we're going to give that to Slowpoke. I love you. I love you more than Conroy, too. First awkward kiss? I didn't really have an awkward... Well, kind of, actually. Condoms. That's not a topic. Walmart? Oh my god, fucking Walmart. Alright, so we're giving the Mystic Water to Snooky. I think I am going to change him to Slobuscus. And we'll give the Twisted Spoon back to you, Venabitch here, Karibo. Karibo! First love? No, that's not good. Masturbation? Meh! Walmart condoms. I don't know what stories you have, man, but... What does Dr. P taste like? It tastes like an explosion. Okay, here we go. Dr. Pepper tastes like if you took a jar of rainbows and then fusioned them with a flower and then used polymerization with a penis and then you ate vanilla ice cream mixed with mint and chip sundaes and caramel frappuccinos and then you took a shit of good flavor and crapped on Slowpoke's head and then you mix it in a blender with a tender heart and then you use your polymerized penis to anti-jizz on french fries and then you take those french fries, and you put Dr. Pepper on them, and then... That's what you tell for Dr. Pepper tastes like, I guess. Okay, so I need to figure out what the fuck I'm doing here. Peroc23, I do not remember you, but... Hi. Captain Kirk. 
What size condom am I? I don't know, are there sizes? Oh my god! Let's talk Jersey Shore. Fuck Jersey Shore. It's a shiny spinner rack! Oh my god! Have you touched an inappropriate spot of a girl before? Okay, how about this? I will tell you guys a story about my first kiss. How about that? That sounds fair. Alright, my first kiss. So, I used to go to... My mom and dad used to work during the day. And after school, and on, you know, days that I didn't have school, what I would do is I would go to a babysitter. And there was a lot of kids there. It was kind of cool, I guess. So, there was these... I mean, how old was I? I was like eight or nine. I was eight or nine years old. And there was this one girl there who was older than the rest. Her name was Emily. She was like 11 or 12. And... One day, we were outside on the patio. The back patio. And there was this other girl. I forget her name. I think it was... Like, Ashley or something? Oh, look, it's Chibi. Oh, it's you. Um, anyway. So, the girl... The two girls were out. It was them two. It was, uh, I think her name was, I don't remember. Some girl and Emily and me. We were all three outside. And being the macadelic that I am, the, um, you know, the pimp daddy, so to speak, I was outside and I convinced these two young women into having a kissing contest at eight years old. I convinced them, hey, let's have a kissing contest. And not just with each other. But with me, I was like, here's what I'm going to do. I will lay down on the patio, and I will, and you kiss me, and then stop, and then you kiss me, and I'll tell, and I'll say which one is better. And they're like, all right. So they totally went for it. And the first girl kissed me, which I wasn't really too excited about. And then Emily kissed me, who was like, you know, 11 or 12, and I was like, yeah. And then that was good. And then I was like, hmm, I can't decide. Can you do, can you try again? So then they did! And the first girl kissed me again, I was like, yeah, whatever. And then the second girl kissed me again. And, like, it was, like, a longer one, like, sort of a makeout, but not really. So I was like, damn. And then, um, and then our babysitter came outside, and she didn't see anything, because I was just laying on the ground, and they were, they were, like, sitting there at that point. And she was like, oh, what are you guys doing? And I was like, oh, just hanging out. And then she said, time to come inside or whatever. So then we went inside, and I went over to, like, my cubby to, like, mess around. And then Emily, the 11-year-old girl... She came over and kissed me on the cheek, as if, you know, to say, Oh, I enjoyed that. We're gonna, we're gonna get it on later, or something like that. And that was my first kiss is. My first kiss is, I was macking, macadaisical. Oh, that was, that was good. Good times. At a babysitter. And before this was fake. No, yeah, that was, that was eight-year-old swag. I didn't get a boner, I don't think, either, because that would have pretty much given it away. So I, like, I held my composure, because if I, I knew if I got a boner... It was all over, you know, that that's it. They're going to be like, oh my god, what's going on? I would have been busted, and I would have gone out of there. So I retained the bonage. Snooky used confusion, but it was it was good. That was funny. I don't even know what I was thinking, man. I was crazy. <laughs> it sucks getting boners. Yeah. And since then, you have decided to make videos to show off your first three kisses. It was four. Actually, five if you include the one on the cheek. So, but then, okay, okay, I got a second story. Do you guys want to hear the continuation of how me and Emily were never to be? How I ruined it? Do you guys want to hear that? Let me know if you want to hear it. Yes? Okay. <laughs> oh, God, this story is bad, too. Okay. So, um, no, <laughs> you said no. So, anyway, Chibi is about to use Magnemite, but that doesn't matter. So, basically, um, later on, like, a little bit down the road, I was still at the babysitter, and we were having a good old time. Emily was there, and then she had a younger sister. She was like, and she was really young. She was like five or six, <coughs> and this is probably like the same year. She was like five or six, and no, I wasn't hitting on her. But we were trying to find something fun to do, because there was nothing to do. And um, so there was this slide, this little plastic slide we had in the playroom. It was very small. And going down the slide normally, the little plastic slide wasn't that fun. So we decided to find a way to kick it up. And there was this other, like, boy kid that was my age, Avery. And it was his idea. I still retain to this day. It was his, he was his age. And he decided, let's get, you know those building blocks? Like the little, they're little wood blocks. Like half of a 2x4. 
like smaller. And then they've got like gloss all over them, so they're like they're not they don't feel like wood, but they're like building blocks you can use. Well, anyway, we had a bunch of those to play with. And Avery decided, hey, let's put these under our feet, stand at the top of the slide, and slide down like on skis. And like we'll you'll fly down because you know the way they react together. And I was like, I was like, yeah, a one by two, yes. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fun. And we did it, like, every person did it. Emily was doing it. Her little sister, that was five-year-old, was doing it. And then, so the line was like this. It was Avery, me, um, Emily's little sister, and then Emily. And Avery went and did it, and it was like, oh, sick, awesome. And then it was my turn. And there's a little ladder that leads up to the top of the slide, and Emily's little sister was right behind me. And uh, she was ha partially climbed up the ladder. So what I did is I got on, put the thing bricks under my feet, and I'm like, alright, let's go. And I pushed off to try and propel myself down the slide, and I kicked the bricks back, and it hit the five-year-old little sister in the face, both of them. And she started bleeding profusely. Profusely! So they had to call the doctor, the ambulance, whatever. People came, shit went down. Bottom line, she had to get stitches in her face, like right above her eyebrow, like five, six, seven, because it split her eye right above her eyebrow open. And because of that, Emily's father came to the daycare center. Mind you, I was eight or nine years old. And although I was a macadelic, I was still very impressionable and very emotional. So um, Emily's dad came, because he is also the little girl's dad. And in front of everybody, everybody kind of sat down, you know, like a little intervention kind of thing. And he got down on his knee and talked to me. And he said, listen, you did this to my daughter. I want you to apologize. So I apologized. And, like, I was like, I'm sorry. And, you know, you can imagine how humiliating this was for me. And I was like, you know, I'm sorry. And blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I want you to say you'll never do it again. And then he's one of these dads that's just like a total dick bag. So he's like... He's just embarrassing me, like, step after step, and he's like, um, you understand that what you did was wrong, and why, and he started questioning me, like, why would you think it's okay to do this, and I didn't want to, like, rat out Avery, so I was like, I don't know, we were just having fun, I was like, she did it, your daughter did it, and he's like, she's a little girl, the fact that you pressured her into doing this makes you even worse, and I was like, oh my god, so I was totally humiliated, I might have cried, I honestly don't remember, I probably did, and anyways, then he left, and Emily gave me this dirty-ass look, like, owned like you got owned but at the same time i can't believe you and ever since then i think i was um they never came to the babysitters again their family i stayed there for a little bit longer and then i was eventually withdrawn from it and i was totally humiliated and that's it yep that was, that was the story and it could have happened to anybody avery could have kicked it into my face and i would have been the victim or the little girl could have kicked it into her big sister's face and she would have been the victim but it had to be me hitting the little girl, right? Like, seriously. In retrospect, I should have ratted out Avery, but he still would have said, Oh, you participated, whatever. He just wanted to be mad at somebody. Yeah, and you know what? I'm just going to retain that. She was a little bitch, and she deserved it anyway, because she was a little whiner. So, haha! -ha. I didn't get head from Emily. Um... Not at that point, but what if, what happened in between story one and story two is for you to interpret. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was it was good though. It was fun times. That was just you know shit happens. First time touching boob. I was very upset at what went down there. Yeah, it was a little. It was a little. Uh, I did split. It wasn't that big. I mean, when you think about it, five or six stitches. That's not that big of a cut. You know, but to watch my videos and come after me. Dude, they're over it. They would have come after me a long time ago. <laughs> I got cock-blocked by wood. I know! Damn, B. Alright, Fry, you're just gonna die here. Um, it was definitely by accident. I didn't kick it into the little girl's face on purpose. Some crazy stuff happened at that babysitter, though. Like, eventually, my little sister started going there, too, and she's uh, three years younger than me. So I'll give you, um, I did tell him it was an accident. I told him exactly what happened. <clears throat> um, anyway, story number three. This one's kind of morbid and doesn't really have to do with me, but it's a little mini story. Uh, pretty much, he was, um, 
there was this baby there, and it was, like, sleeping or whatever, because she used to watch kids, too, and my little sister was a baby at that point, too, like, kind of a baby. She was, like, four or five. I don't know. Still in a crib. And the baby was sleeping in the room, and then I remember our babysitter went in there to grab her, and you guys have heard of SIDS. It's a, it's a disease that affects infants. It's called Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, and babies can sometimes just die for no reason. Just in, That's why it's called Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. They just die for no reason, just because of something that happens. And the baby was dead, and, like, the fire, the ambulance had to come, the fire truck had to come, and, like, it was just, like, I remember police being there, and it was just so scary. It was just, like, surreal. Yeah, and that, I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with me, but it's just something that happened. It was totally scary, man. It was just, like, I, for some reason, I keep thinking it's a dream, but I know it's not, because I talked to my sister about it, and she even remembers it, kind of. And I was like, wow, dude. That is a downer. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, that's kind of a downer. Let's talk about a different story. Alright, give me new give me new subjects. I need new... Uh, I need a new topic. Let's talk about sex. Sex is complicated. Very complicated. First video game memory... I remember the first time I cussed in front of my parents, I was playing Star Fox 64, and I was playing the asteroid field, the meteor field, if you will, and I was doing something, it was in that part where there's the two worms, and you go in that little tunnel, and I remember I, like, ran into them or something, or died, maybe, I don't know, I sucked when I was a kid, and my dad was standing right behind me, and I figured I was going to test him, so I said, shit, and then I looked behind me to see his reaction, and he was glaring at me, and I was just like, what's gonna happen and then he said go to your room and then I was like meh so I had to go to my room that's really the end of that story that was the first time I tried to cuss and I totally got busted weirdest boner ever I used to get these boners I used to have boner itis like it's called road boner where you just like get boners randomly for no reason not even because you're thinking about something and yeah boner itis and I used in um, what grade was that? Ninth grade? No, tenth grade geometry. I used to just get boners so randomly in that class. I don't know if it was the, because it was very air conditioned. I don't know if it was that or what. But I used to just get boners, and it was so hard to hide, and just oh, it was annoying. I just couldn't help it. Boneritis, man. Like it up the butt? I doubt it. That's pretty common. You guys have that too. Yeah. Fold your arms, so folding your arms helps hide boners. No, what I used to do is I used to do the Roseanne, I like to call it this, because um, Roseanne is like a woman, but she kind of looks like a dude. So what I would do is I would tuck my boner, because I was sitting, I would tuck my boner under my legs and then close my legs so that it was like holding, being held under my legs via the leverage. And then it's called the Roseanne because when you do that, all you can see is your pubes. So it looks like a vagina, kind of, because there's no balls or penis. Never mind, it's just, I did the Roseanne to hide it. And then you could walk like that too, but you'd have to walk with your legs close together, and it normally didn't work. It takes years of practice. So, you know. Totally crazy. Alright, we're gonna go back in here and obliterate everybody with Snooky. Oh, you know what? I need to get fucking... I need to get What's-His-Face, HM Slave out of there. Ken has HM. Boner talk stream. I do what I call the O'Reilly. More player stories? Ugh, I don't know. What are some more player stories? Player hater. Um. I don't know. I don't know if I can think of any right now. Huh. First sex story. Uh. Let's talk Disney. Yeah, I love Disneyland. Disneyland was great. First time you came out of your mom's badge? Only time, you mean? Do you have any mom what the fuck moments? Stories? The Wallace episode, well. You cannot discuss the Wallace episode. Um. I don't know. I can't really. I need better subjects. Ugh! <sighs>
Your first Goomba? Nah. First time you made your GF? Nah. Have you ever smoked? Of course not. I would never do such a thing. I went on Splash Mountain 12 times and it was raining when I went- Oh, dude. There's like this thing called Magic Morning there, where if you like stay at certain hotels or whatever, you get to go- The park normally opens at, uh, 8, but you get to go in at like 6.30, 6.45. And we did that a few times, and going on Splash Mountain that early in the morning is effing amazing. It's so great. I do not watch APGM. First rage quit? I don't know, I used to rage quit every game. I've rage quit Mega Man Legends a bunch, and I don't know why, because it's easy. You got hit by six cars and a boat. Ouch. Did I pee in class? No, but I remember this one girl that did, and she did it during the Pledge of Allegiance in sixth, fifth grade. And she didn't want to tell anybody, so she just kind of sat there in her chair. And she started crying, and the teacher was like, why are you crying? And she said, because... She said, because I peed. And she's like, what? She's like, I peed. And then nobody laughed, because it was kind of sad. And she's like, why didn't you tell me? And she's like, because I didn't want to interrupt the Pledge of Allegiance. I thought you'd get mad, because our teacher was kind of mean. She was like some black lady. She was kind of mean. And then so she pretty much then, she just took her out of the class crying like a baby. She peed, yes. She peed in her pants. Pantalonis. I peed! God damn it, why? No! Do, do, do. That's hot. You and your black chicks, I don't know. Oh, for a funny story. You guys want to hear about the first girl I dated? Like, on a serious dating scale? Like, you know, you could, you could count Emily to an extent and other people, but the first girl I actually dated was in seventh grade. Her name was Ashley, and she was black. She was black, so... I know, go ahead, say what you must, but she was so black. And she had, like, a fat booty. I don't know why. But that's not why, that's not why I liked her. I'm not that shallow. Or am I? And, um, we, like, never kissed. But we always do all this weird stuff. And one time we kissed, and then it was, it was pretty cool. And then, I don't know, she would always just, like, sit on my lap, and she was, I was, like, in, I used to be, like, super anorexic skinny, but I wasn't anorexic, but I used to be anorexic skinny, now I'm just kind of, like, normal average, but I used to be, like, super anorexic skinny, like, I think in 7th grade, I had to be, like, barely 110 pounds, maybe less, I was, like, fucking skinny, and she was, like, pretty fat, well, she wasn't fat, she was thick, and she used to sit on me all the time, and it would, like, hurt my pee-pee. And I would just be like, dude, get off. But then I didn't say that because I didn't want to be a butthole. And it was just... Yeah, she was fat, so I totally broke up with her, dude. Because she was fat. But I told her I told her the real reason was because, you know, I didn't want to... I didn't like her kiss or something. I was kind of a dick. I don't remember what I said. I don't know. And I did fart in her milk carton, too. She was not happy about it. That's where I first learned about that. I hate her McChicken. Yes. Yes. Dick implosion imminent. Yeah, but I didn't want my cock to explode. So I kind of had to break it off. I don't care if she sees this. She's really fat now, too. She's like, um... I remember seeing her in college. She goes to my college. And she was like a fucking whale. She was like whalemer. Oh man, do I have strength? Oh yeah, I do, because I have Krabby. Yes! Uh, second girlfriend story. None of them really have good stories. Who was my second girlfriend? Um. Yeah. I don't know. In high school, all my girlfriends, I kind of cheated on them. But not like cheated, like did other people. I kind of just like started talking to other chicks while I was still with them. So those aren't really good stories for my, uh, for my you know, reputation, so I really kind of don't want to tell that. Uh, yeah. Did I have any kids with Down syndrome? I don't think so. 